This video is brought to you by the Research School of Chemistry at the Australian National University. In this experiment, we will be using freezing point depression to make a calibration curve for water and to determine the molecular weight of two unknown samples. These unknowns take a while to dissolve, so let's first make up these solutions. Label two 250ml conical flasks with A and B, and then weigh out 12.5 grams of unknown A into one of the flasks. Realize halfway through that your spatula is tiny and go get a plastic spoon instead. Tear the scale again and add 50ml of distilled water, finishing it off with a pasta pipette. Record both masses for your molality calculations. Repeat this process for unknown B, no! and then let it dissolve while you set up the experiment. Now let's prepare our ice bath. First go collect some ice from the machine in the hallway, remembering to close the lid when you're done. To make our ice bath super cold, we're going to add a few scoops of pool salt. Keep an eye on the temperature and make sure it's around negative 8 degrees throughout the experiment. Now let's construct our calibration curve. Using the masses you calculated in the pre-lab, weigh out the three masses of sodium chloride, tear, and add 50 grams of water to each. Fill one labelled test tube with 15 mL of water to create your zero molal solution, then transfer the rest of the solutions into their test tubes. Now we have four molalities of salt solutions that we can analyse. Take your first solution and clamp it to the retort stand. Turn on your digital thermometer and place it inside the test tube, along with this wire spiral thingy. Stick the ice bath underneath and lower the test tube so that it's halfway inside. Make sure that the ice bath is at the correct temperature and add more pool salt if necessary. Start mixing the solution by moving the wire thingy up and down vigorously. It should take a few minutes for the solution to start freezing. Keep an eye on the thermometer. The temperature should drop sharply due to supercooling, then increase to a stable freezing point. You should also see some ice forming in your test tube. Write down this freezing point. Repeat this process for the other three solutions to create a calibration curve for freezing point depression. Now we can use this technique to analyze the unknown solutions we made at the start. Transfer these solutions into test tubes and repeat the freezing point measurement process. Make sure you clean the thermometer and wire thingy between measurements. Once you're done, pour your ice bath into the buckets in the sink. 